so students uh, in this module i will of course uh, throughout this uh, last modules i have been comparing and talking about no sql vis-a-vis rdbms model now in this module i will do very very specific and very focused comparison of no sql with rdbms and that comparison will be based upon 10 criteria or you can say uh, i will tell you the 10 major differences between the no sql and the rdbms model so let's look at uh, those 10 differences and then in the subsequent modules i will briefly go over each of those 10 differences as a pair of differences so on your screen you can see these 10 differences okay or the 10 advantages the word advantage is more important the 10 advantages over here okay the 10 advantages not the differences of course we have discussed that no is not is, is not relational as opposed to my sequel which is relational and of course we will discuss it more also in some other course so these are the advantages of no sequel over rdvms so these 10 so now let's go and look at these 10 advantages in more detail so less etl etl is extract transform load okay now uh, th this is the domain of data warehousing which is course 36 uh, cs614 a lot of details over there but as over here as is data storage is used why because no sql supports these three formats these three formats are not the four types of data structures remember the big difference so since these three formats are supported so there is less coding so there is less effort there is less plumbing code as uh, the term goes that we convert the formats and then uh, make them usable so these three formats are supported so since these three formats are supported there is less etl and there is less data conversion when there is less data conversion of course there is less maintenance and when there is less maintenance the maintenance cost goes down and it is multi-language uh, nosql and faceted search now what is faceted search faceted search does is that when you get the search results then certain filters are applied to narrow down the search okay and those filters come from you identify certain mutually exclusive but totally exhaustive okay strings or keywords based upon which this faceted search is performed so this is very powerful feature for those scenarios in which we have kind of a text documents a document database which is supported by uh, no sequel of course we have this uh, uh, pattern matching in rdb mass relation but it is very slow over there it's very slow and it's not uh, it is not meant and built for this kind of searches then is the named entity extraction entity is something which of interest such as the name of a person name of a place a date name of an organization right and those things are supported those are part of the NoSQL solution which are not there in relational uh, rdbms model relational model this is a big advantage okay then is handles change over time okay and no sql magic needed now as we have been discussing again and again that no sql is agnostic schema agnostic it means that when we start populating a no sql database you know it you it, it's not required to have a schema so you populate the database no sql database and work on it and it is when you need to know it when you perform a read on it that we have discussed when you perform a read on it then you need to know or what kind of schema should have been there so it is it is flexible the advantage is that as the schema changes over time in a relational model when you modify the schema it has a great ripple effect many things have to be changed many things have to be maintained it's a very expensive endeavor in terms of time and resources universal indexing immediate use as the 
नो सिक्वल डेटा बेस इज पॉपुलेटेड द इंडेक्सेज आर ऑल्सो अपडेटेड तो इट डजेंट टेक लॉट ऑफ टाइम एंड यू डोंट हैव टू मास्टर एंड मास्टरिंग एस क्यू एल इज अ थॉर्नी आर्ट यू यू यूज विच टाइप ऑफ जॉइंट्स आउटर जॉइन ओके नेस्टेड लूप्स और सेलेक्ट विद इन सेलेक्ट और करसर्स और सेंसिटिव करसर्स वॉट एल्स वॉट मोर ओके सो इट इज ए कॉम्प्लेक्स एंडेवर ओवर है यू डोंट नीड दैट काइंड ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी टू मास्टर टू रिट्रीव वॉट यू आर लुकिंग फॉर एंड एस क्यूल इन नो सीक्वल इज फॉर कॉम्पेटिबिलिटी परपजेज दे आर डिफरेंट थिंग्स नो सीक्वल इज डिफरेंट बट ऑफकोर्स इट कैन सपोर्ट फॉर द कम्पेटिबिलिटी and it frees no sequel uh, sequel frees the developers from the vagaries from the complexities of the database so that they can spend more time on being more productive and of course uh, the cost also uh, no sequel runs on inexpensive servers a lot of inexpensive servers which is horizontal scaling versus uh, buying a single expensive server which is vertical scaling for a relational model and this uh, this inexpensive hardware increases the what yes availability and adds durability because when you have multiple servers servers can crash this is a fact of life but when you have multiple servers horizontal scaling okay then is very less likelihood that all the servers fail maybe one can fail but in vertical scaling if the one server fail everything stops not over here and there are variety of no sequel databases to meet your needs as opposed to a single which is the relational model range of data structures you can look at over here and there are wide variety of new entrants also such as ibm such as microsoft such as oracle so it is not just uh, limited to open source okay and finally there is no historical package there are no lots and lots of historical data that needs to be converted and you can perform the aggregations okay without porting lot of data so it is next to the data okay and uh, uh, indexes are updated as the as the databases are populated therefore it is a, this this aggregation is close turnaround time is close next to the data so these are some of the fundamental basic 10 advantages of no sequel with respect to the relational model that is all i have for this module for you